Hi, it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist. And today I'd like to do a mini trance for you of planting the suggestions of being in the right place at the right time for the right connections to happen. So just take a moment and sit back and I may get a bit closer because my voice will go softer so I want you to hear. So just close your eyes when you're ready and take a deep breath in. And let it go when you're ready to just let go. Because I don't know whether you'll relax now or later or whether my suggestions will go with you to remind you to think about the possibility of miracles occurring where you remember all over again what it's like to be in flow and have you ever had a time where everything just seemed to go so perfectly and if you could remember that now you can float back in your imagination to remember all over again to see through those eyes to hear through those ears and to feel those feelings of complete connection to all that is and was and will be so that you can begin to recognise this state and that this state can be your natural way of being in the world because what would it be like if you were in this flow state, always for good. To remember that perhaps this is the natural way of being, where when you're in flow, there's an absence of worry, it's quiet, where you hear yourself saying nothing, where you're just you. And I want you to feel all the layers that you've gathered over the years, the baggage, all of the stuff that really it's time to let go. Feel it melting away as your shoulders relax, as you breathe through those eyes. And those eyes begin to remember what it was like to see as a child where everything was wonderful, where everything was new and exciting. And I want you to remember, whether in reality or your imagination, what it would have been like to have had a beautiful childhood, so that you could remember the feelings in your body of those young eyes to give a metaphor to your mind that it can de-age, that it can just soften. And the little muscles in your scalp and forehead, feel those just softening now, relaxing, releasing and softening. Always, all over. And the little muscles in your cheeks and jawbone. Just feel those softening. And the muscles in your neck and throat softening. And the shoulders just relaxing. And waves of the ocean of time and tranquility are washing through and diluting problems into solutions and as the waves pull back into the ocean they're lifting off of you the weight that you had been carrying to give you freedom now to go all the way into wonderment. See numbers count and you can count on them because if you were to notice just one percent improvement a day at the end of the year, it wouldn't be 365% because your interest would compound and 
the interest and curiosity of all of the good things in life, of working from a pureness of spirit, a generosity of mind and soul and body, where you take yourself lightly, where the minutiae of day-to-day -day worries, you lift yourself above them. Because as Leonardo da Vinci once said, every now and then you need to take yourself away from your work. Because when you come back to it, it'll seem smaller and you'll take all of it in and be able to see things more clearly from this perspective. And you have the ability now to lose yourself in trance. The entrance to new learnings and understandings of what it's like to be in the flow state. To ask yourself some possibility questions. What would my life be like now? If I could have my ideal body, my ideal shape, my ideal life, my ideal financial rewards, my ideal work where it seems just like play, where you work smart, not hard, and you manifest miracles because you're open to the law of attraction, of seeing only in your mind what you want. And when we think about the football player, David Beckham, or any other sports person, one of the secrets of their success is in mind they have a single focus of what they want. And I could imagine, if I was David, how I'd be running my mind. I'd be seeing from a child the ball going in the net, the adoration of the crowd. The ball going in the net, the adoration of the crowd. And every time I practiced, that's what I'd be focusing on. Now a lesser player would be seeing that and then if they miss, they'd be focusing on that. And they'd be thinking, am I going to get it? Am I going to miss? Am I going to get it? Am I going to miss? And they're working harder at failing. Whereas someone like David Beckham, whenever he misses, he immediately goes delete and straight back onto focusing only what he wants. And he turns success around every time. Even when the world turned against him, he used that to fuel his determination to prove the world wrong, that he could succeed again, and he did. And see, you too are learning the secret of success, a single-minded focus of only what you want. With a small caveat of this or something even better will set your mind and imagination up to look for you things that you can't even think about or imagine that you may long have forgotten that your mind knows that you would enjoy, love and appreciate. And it's far better to set the mind up for a win-win than what you have been doing. And now, as I count back from five to one, you can come back into the room, feeling a renewed sense of energy, optimism, excitement, curiosity, really looking forward to the rest of your day. And the more that you come back and listen to this, the more quickly you notice you're just feeling absolutely fantastic. For now is the time to take the freedom to allow yourself to evolve, to come from a higher level, to have the freedom to know that you can look down on your problems and see them for the insignificance that they really are. They're just challenges and things to sort out. Delegate if you can. Work out a way to find fun in discovering the answers to allow you to be at one. And when you're ready, just adjust yourself and come back into the room and have a wonderful day. And there's a link here where you can get yourself a free recording that's much longer than this that will also plant other useful, helpful suggestions. Great talking to you today. Bye now.